Hello everybody, this is Stephen Whitfield with Drilling Contractor and we are here inside at the 2023 IADC Annual General Meeting in Austin, Texas. And with me right now is somebody who spoke at this conference, Amy Roddy of Diamond Offshore. She was in a panel talking about recruitment and retention, some topics that are such big topics in the industry today. And so we're going to go over some of the things that she said up there on the stage here. So Amy, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, I'm happy to be here. So. When you were up there speaking at the panel, the, the two things that you really sort of went on was really just about value, industry value, employee value. So I want to ask first sort of about one of the things you talked about, industry value initiative. For the people out there watching, can you sort of tell us a little bit about what that is? Sure. So the Industry Value Initiative Project, or IVI, was a research project that was sponsored by the Executive Committee for IADC. And what they wanted to do was better understand negative perceptions of our industry. So we put together a work group of IADC member companies, and we looked at three potential areas of focus for this research study prospective employees, government and regulatory bodies, and investors. And it became quickly evident to our work group that prospective employees were going to be our big area of focus. We felt like that was um, an audience that would bring the most value to our industry today. So we went out and found a marketing research firm called Brunswick Group to conduct a market research study. And they contacted five key audiences for prospective you know, potential employees, um, veterans, vocational students, uh, students who have a relevant degree or are pursuing a relevant degree like engineering or finance, young people between the ages of 18 and 25 who are currently unemployed but who are seeking employment. And so we looked at these audiences and we looked at four major regions around the world where the IDC does business and we conducted an online market research survey of 2,500 people within these these regions and these groups. And we learned a lot. We learned a lot about what prospective employees think about our industry and the messages that attract them and would make them more interested in working in our industry. So we'll go on to the employee part of this, the employee value proposition. How does that sort of fit in with the industry value initiative? And also sort of from an industry-wide perspective, what kind of value does the industry generate from, from the employee value proposition? So employee value proposition is a term that we use in human resources a lot to basically describe the collection of things that a company offers to an employee a value in exchange for the value that an employee provides to the company. In other words, it answers the question for an employee, why should I work here? Why should I work for your company? And it includes things like the, the, um, the basics, compensation and benefits, but it also includes things like your personal sense of purpose at work, the company's mission and values, what kind of community do you have at work? And so when we think about what we bring to a prospective employee as a drilling contractor or a drilling service company, um, we can use the employee value proposition as a framework to think about all of the different components of value that we offer to employees and then use the research from the industry value initiative to make sure that we are really covering all of those key aspects of employee value. So now connecting everything together, and you look at these surveys that you were talking about um, and sort of the, the things that the people taking these surveys were sort of valuing, what were some of the key kind of focal points that kept coming up in these surveys? What were some of the, I guess maybe not lessons learned, but what are some of the areas of focus that you think these, these surveys kind of reveal? Yeah. So first, I would say that these surveys revealed a lot of information. And so I would encourage IADC member companies to reach out to IADC and request the executive summaries and other materials that have been developed following the survey, because there's a lot to learn. But a few key takeaways. One, our employees are our best ambassadors for the industry. It is gonna be easier to recruit new employees when our employees go out into the world and talk about how great of an industry we have. Another key takeaway is that veterans and vocational students are the easiest audiences for us to kind of convert to our industry. They already have a pretty um, positive perception of our industry already. They are um, used to the kind of work that we do in our industry, so they're gonna be easier to attract. Um, so those are a couple of, of good examples, um, but like I said, there's, there's many more. 
And then lastly, in the panel, there was sort of a talk about sort of, we talk about sort of the key value propositions here, but also the ways in which the industry can kind of reach out to, you know, younger people, to newer sort of people trying to bring them into the fold. And you kind of mentioned a little bit about from a diamond offshore perspective, some of the things that you guys are looking at with different social medias and things like that. Can you sort of go over like sort of the, the importance of finding those new avenues to reach out to people and maybe explain some of the things that, that's, that are going on in the diamond offshore world there? Yeah, so clearly one of the takeaways from the IVI research is that we have to do a better job about getting our recruiting messages about our industry out into the world and um, having access for those prospective employees to those messages, right? And one of the, the um, takeaways from the research is that younger em prospective employees are overwhelmingly on social media for their job research primarily on TikTok and YouTube, and they prefer video, um, you know, video medium. They are not using a standard Google search and reading Wikipedia and reading standard web pages in their job search. They want to see video content. So one of the things that we've started working on at Diamond Offshore is developing a series of rig life videos that show what it's like to actually work on one of our rigs uh, from things like what, what it's actually like to go out onto the drill floor, but also what's it like to eat uh, on, the, on the rig? What are the living quarters like? What's it like to work out on the rig or just the day-to-day -day camaraderie that you have in your community on the rig so that we can uh, put those out on social media and other platforms that will be more accessible to prospective employees. A little slice of life thing showing life on the rig there. I guess it's the way that you, you reach out to people. Exactly, exactly. Well, Amy, thank you so much for taking the time to sort of share these insights that you had up there in the panel. And I'm sure that uh, there'll be much more coming out of this area here. So thank you again. Oh, happy to do it. Thanks for the time. And thank you for visiting Drilling Contractor.